Hey guys, it's Kristen. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually going to show you guys a recipe that I'm going to make. Um, this is the GM Wonder Soup. And I've done this before uh, about a year and a half ago and it was actually really good. Um, but it makes your house smell really bad because we're going to be using cabbage and we're going to be boiling cabbage. So you get the idea. You're going to smell like a fart in your house, but it'll be yummy. We're going to have two large onions, two large tomatoes, green pepper, cabbage, and normally you use celery, but I kind of forgot, so I'm going to replace it with cauliflower. You also are going to need a very large pot because we're going to be putting a lot of water in there, um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil, but not much. Now I'm going to put in the green pepper and all of the onions. Now I'm just going to let these cook for about 10 minutes until they get a golden brown. While the onions and the peppers are cooking, I'm going to boil 4 cups of water. I'm actually going to add some um, Lipton's onion soup mix. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. So now I'm going to start throwing everything in the water. I'm going to start by putting the onions in here, tomato, cauliflower, now we're going to add cabbage and this is pretty much going to fill the entire pot. I'm going to finish it off by adding four more cups of water. I'm going to cover this up and it's going to need to cook for about 60 minutes. As you can see it's really really packed in there but as it cooks it's going to start shrinking and shrinking and shrinking until you have a nice thick soup. It's been about 50 minutes since I started cooking this soup. Um, just by the feel of it and appearance, I think it needs to stay in for about 15 more minutes. As you can see, a lot of the water is starting to boil away. Um, so it's really your preference, but I think I'm going to add a little bit more water. So I'm adding about two more cups of water. So this is at about 70 minutes. I just tried a bite and it's perfect. It's everything is tender, nothing still tastes, nothing's crunchy or anything like that. So here's the soup that we've made. Now you can eat pretty much as much of this as you want in as often as you want. There are some calories, but it's very, very low. This is a great soup for detoxing or just trying to maybe shed a few extra pounds. Um, it's a very healthy soup and it's actually surprisingly really good. So overall, everything turned out exactly how I was hoping. Um, I didn't cut any fingers off and the soup tastes great. So that's all you can ask for, right? So if you guys have not subscribed, feel free to do that now. And you can also follow me on Twitter or Facebook. Um, but that's it for today and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.